The title of this podcast is, If You Believe Your Limits, You Get to Keep Them. This podcast was inspired by a quote that I received from my good friend, Fiona. Uh, Fiona and I work together at Mayo Clinic, and uh, we have a morning practice with a group uh, of folks who are in her division at Mayo in laboratory medicine. And every once in a while, she'll include a quote that I just love, and this is one of them. Again, if you believe your limits, you get to keep them. And I think about that with so much of my life. Uh, and they were limits that I was unaware of that I had. You know, I mentioned before that when I went to Yuma four years ago, I mean, uh, 30 years ago, as part of Marine Corps, that I had put a limit in place of what my enjoyment of that experience would be. And, uh, and so it was a horrible experience. And I have the good fortune to support a friend by traveling to Yuma here, uh, the potential to travel to Yuma here again uh, in the coming weeks and months. And I have a completely different um, attitude about it. And that's because I have no limits o- over Yuma anymore. And a lot of that has to do with the well being practice. You know, here we are on today and there, it's raining outside. So for some people, they may have already created a narrative that is going to be not such a great day because they have plans for their day that don't include it being uh, a rainy day. And consider that's a limitation. You can still have your plans may alter, they may change, you may not be able to do some outside activities, or you may be wearing something that you don't want to get get wet. Uh, But for the farmer who's looking for a great crops or for the ski resorts who are welcoming the rain, which means snow in the higher elevation, it's a welcome sight. So in that case, uh, if you are the person who doesn't want it to rain today, maybe let that go and say in the face or in the reality of there being rain, uh, I'm going to have a great day. Uh, Most recently, I shared about me having a new uh, leader that I report up to. And if there's in the suffering that I was experiencing over some changes and how I might be um, encouraged to work or what my workflow is, uh, and having some su- having experienced suffering over that, one step was to let go of being attached to remaining the same, which I've done. The other part of it is not having limits on what this new experience with this new leader might be, and just be open to it being what it is, and making sure that I show up as my best self in uh, with this new experience with this new part of my journey. So I encourage all of you that if you're struggling over something. Uh, and consider there's some limitations that you have unconsciously put around what that experience could be. And it, 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 at the very least, it could be an opportunity for you to grow, at the very least. And if you go beyond that, it could be something even better. So if there is someone in your life that you feel like you're not getting out of that connection, what you think you should, consider there's an opportunity for you to grow there. And the growth would be still to show up as loving, kind, and open in the face of your mind telling you that you're not getting what you want, you're not getting what you need. So uh, just great opportunities to learn and grow. And remember, if you believe your limits, you get to keep them.